am going to derive the solution to differential equation of damped harmonic oscillator. Damped harmonic oscillator and the differential equation that is d square x by dt square minus d dt square plus 2k dx by dt plus omega 0 square x is equal to 0. It is damped harmonic oscillator and the differential equation. Means representative equation to the damped harmonic oscillator. Now you are going to solve this equation. So I am going to solve the differential equation to damped harmonic oscillator. How you can solve? See, sadhana uru algebraic equation. Say 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. If there is an equation under what is the solution to this equation? That means what is the value of this x? When you put x is equal to 2, shirele. When you put x is equal to 2 here, this equation will be satisfied. And that means x is equal to 2 is the solution to this algebraic equation. That is x is differential equation. The second order derivative, then the first order derivative of x, then the x term. So, x is differential equation. See, we have differential equations in the differential equations. There are differential equations like homogeneous equation. This is a homogeneous equation. The right side is 0. And the homogeneous equations are not available. The other equations are not available. The solution will be exponential. Differential equations are not available. The equation is not available. The solution is in the formula. We are not available. We are not available. But we are applying that here. So this type of an equation is a homogeneous equation and the solution will be exponential. So I am going to assume the solution to this equation as x is equal to a e raised to alpha t. Where this a is a constant, alpha is also a constant. Okay, e equation x and the time in a matra we would depend on you because here it is x then dx by dt with respect to time derivative then again second order derivative with respect to time that means x and the bar in the number of the equation the solution in the alum time in the or function i give other homogeneous equation than a i the wonder exponential function i give okay our idea you see the turner you are going to assume the solution to this equation as x is equal to a e raised to alpha t. It is by heart. This is the same idea of the other steps. So, you should by heart this expression. x is equal to a e raised to alpha t. So, here x is equal to 2 means you have to substitute this x here so that the equation will be correct. Like that, here also I am taking the solution as x is equal to a e raised to alpha t means e solution equation like a substitute taker. So for x you can substitute this one. Now what about dx by dt? dx by dt I would substitute a. I need data dx by dt I am going to do it. So a constant on a exponential term in the derivative and where another exponential term than you are a e raised to alpha t than you are then a constant is here, a constant in good area. So, I can write it as a alpha e raised to alpha t. Right? That is dx by dt. We can substitution i. Then, the second order derivative. That is d square x by d t square. Now, what is it? a alpha is a constant. Then, again, e raised to alpha t is a derivative. Again, it is alpha value. So, a alpha square e raised to alpha t. Right? So, I am going to substitute these three in this expression. So, the first term is a alpha square e raised to alpha t plus 2k. For dx by dt, it is a alpha e raised to alpha t. Right? a alpha e raised to alpha t plus omega 0 square is here then for x 
it is a e raised to alpha t equal to 0 right now right side is 0 yana see e moon term in the common item it can get another see a e raised to alpha t is a common term right so a e raised to alpha t common item the very l equation le baki and the other see a e raised to alpha t means the remaining one is alpha square alpha square plus then a e raised to alpha t is taken outside so the remaining one is 2k alpha plus omega 0 square last term is omega 0 square equal to 0 right so the right side is 0 means you can take either this one equal to 0 or this one equal to 0 e term 0 e term 0 right side is 0 see a raised to alpha t is our solution so what you have to do is this term equal to 0 so alpha square plus 2k alpha plus omega 0 square equal to 0 right now e equation uru Quadratic expression I take Quadratic expression in alpha. Quadratic equation the form See ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Quadratic expression in x. Now e equation the solution means if it x in the value. Then the values equal to x, uh, x in a. What are the values? x is equal to the minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. That is the x in the value. That is the equation. See, in, uh, in place of x, it is alpha. So, a is 1, then b is 2k, then c is omega 0 square. Right? So, if we have x, we have alpha. So, what is alpha? Minus b. That is minus 2k. Okay. Plus or minus root of b square. Means 2k the whole square. So, it is 4k square. Right. Minus 4 into a is 1. Into c is omega 0 square. So, 4 omega 0 square. Right. Whole divided by. 2a a is 1 so here it is 2 right so what happens here alpha see root of 4k square minus 4 omega 0 square but a 4 common on a root in a port to remember the 2 of so numerator like 2 is common so 2 get cancelled with this 2 okay above e equation le. 2 cancel either you get alpha as minus k plus or minus root of k square minus omega 0 square in the bit alpha. Okay. From this expression you get alpha as minus k plus or minus root of k square minus omega 0 square. Okay. But then the number say that you, you have assumed the solution to this equation as a e raised to alpha t. Okay. Adile, uh, substitute either one upon alpha alpha just a constant and then then what is the physical significance of alpha in this damned oscillator alpha in the bar in the number in the physical system that means damned harmonic oscillator in the in the factor and alpha and the long career just a constant and the area to put them in the alpha you can represent alpha in terms of the known parameters ariyavuna parameters in the terms il alpha namukku ipo kittikkalu because omega 0 omega 0 is a natural frequency of the oscillator adu namukku ariyavunnana then k k nu parayna damping factor aanu aa mediathinte damping ine depend cheyina term aanu k nu parayna adu rendum known factors aanu okay adinte terms il alpha kittikkalu that means you can substitute this alpha in this expression. So, I am going to substitute that alpha that is x is equal to a e raised to alpha t. But she would alpha get expressions under. Shereale minus k plus root of 
this value and minus k minus root of k square minus omega 0 square. So, alpha is having two values. Now, how will you write that two values? That means, e expression in split e that is a1 e raised to alpha de adite value, adite value and varina minus k plus root of k square minus omega 0 square whole into t. Okay. Alpha into e raised to alpha whole into t plus a2, some other constant, a2 e raised to alpha de aditha value means minus k minus root of k square minus omega 0 square. So, minus k minus root of k square minus omega 0 square whole into t. Okay. So, this is the value of the solution. Okay. A1 into this one into a plus A2 into this one. Actually, it is a differential, I mean, damped harmonic oscillator and differential equation, the solution or in it. In it, on simplify the x is equal to c. e raised to e or a term and or in this is e raised to minus kt into e raised to root of k square minus omega 0 square into t because e raised to a plus b. See, if you have e raised to a plus b, it is e raised to a into e raised to b now. So, e term is e raised to minus kt into e raised to the other term. That's why we have the term e raised to again minus kt into e raised to minus root of k square minus omega 0 square into t. That means e term is e raised to minus kt is common. So, I am going to write e raised to minus kt as common one. Then the remaining is a1 e raised to the other one is this term root of k square minus omega 0 square into t, right, plus a2 e raised to minus, minus root of k square minus omega 0 square into t, okay. So, this is the solution to the differential equation of damped harmonic oscillator. For examination, uh, usually essay part of the question is derive the differential equation to damped harmonic oscillator and solve it. In the essay, we have to write the question to the question damped oscillator or forced oscillator in the differential equation and solution. So, uh, that means you derive this one. That is the derive. Then, you write this step and solve. Uh, that, that means you, you are solving the this equation okay differential equation derive you know then and the solution control okay so this is the most expected as a question from the first module right so now you are going to the other one that is see forced harmonic oscillator then again forced harmonic oscillator like a pogunadini munne where you guide him parayam see here you have k and omega zero right k and omega 0. See, here it is k square minus omega 0 square. That means k is the dimension of omega 0 is the dimension of the term k. Omega 0 is the term. That's a natural frequency, natural angular frequency of the oscillator. If the system is a simple harmonic system, that means there is no resistance at all. Then, after the amplitude, then infinite time, the uh, there will be oscillation. And there is a constant frequency, and omega zero. Then, damping one day, but resistance one day, means damping constant one day, this omega zero will change. Okay. So this k in the way, frequency is the dimension factor. This is a frequency. Okay. Resistive forces influence in the frequency of k. That is why k square minus omega 0 square. Terms, dimensions are minus a and plus a and a. So, according to the value of k and omega 0, see, there can be three cases. You can have k greater than omega 0. K greater than omega 0, what happens? See, the damping factor is greater than the natural factor. That means 
there will be over damping okay so this case is called over damping when k is greater than omega 0 it's called over damping and when k is equal to omega 0 k is equal to omega 0 means that's a critical situation so this is termed as critical damping okay then k is less than omega 0 k less than omega 0 means a natural factor is higher and the damping factor is less resistance korava means natural factor thaneyana munnittu nikkunnathu atharathilulla oru situation il oru korcha samayathekengilum a simple harmonic nature exists cheyum that means oscillations will continue uh, for a long time and namukku paraya so this is called under damping okay k less than omega 0 is called under damping E moon situation silum number solution in the IMR and the goody number no candy other. So in the under damping case, what happens to this equation? Then when k is equal to omega zero critical damping, what happens? And when k e greater than omega zero over damping, what happens to the equation? So we are going to analyze these three. <laughs>